what is up you guys so now before you guys go off on me and say why haven't you posted why haven't you put anything up there's a lot of things at work right now um, so to start it off I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly what we're dealing with um, everything is at a standstill so we're still sitting here with the head off um, but let me go ahead let me show a couple things so as you can see here I got the uh, arrow catch flush mount hood pins installed. I know it is missing one of the screws, but that's all right. It's secure for now until I can finalize everything. Um, it's set up to the point right now where um, all I need to do is take them off, sand down the hood, repaint the hood, and get that good. I should become an artist. It all rhymed. Um, a couple other things I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood right now and uh show you what we're dealing with and why everything has been taking so long why this car has been sitting on the back burner and everything so let's go ahead and check it out all right so as you guys can see right here heads off obviously i just showed you that um but if you look at this number one piston if you can see that right there so piston is out of round um what I'm guessing, it probably went lean uh, when it seen that spike at 20 pounds of boost and decided to melt the side of the piston. Or, so that's option one, that's what I'm thinking. But what I'm really thinking is that this engine has previously seen boost and I think there was possibly already um, a pre-detonation pre on this motor and everything was put back to stock stock manifold everything back to stock <clears throat> and possibly new rings were put on that piston and the piston was put back in without being replaced i don't know you guys let me know what do you think these cars are known to be able to hold around 15 pounds with the right fueling which is why i think that it went lean on that 20 psi and decided to um, melt the side of the piston now one thing i did want to get into with this was to spin the motor over i don't want to do that yet because i have the chain gear it's it's not set up to to be doing that right at this moment um, i want to get this motor out i want to start going through it it is going to get fully built so you guys will see videos on that i'm going to switch over to arp head studs everything that i'm going to talk about right now i'm going to go ahead and put it up on the screen so you guys can see um, but I am going to do ARP head studs. I'm going to bore the cylinders out from 86 millimeters out to uh, 86 and a half, 86.5 millimeters. And I'm going to go with the bigger Wiseco piston. I'm going to run 9 to 1 compression on those. Go ahead and put that up on the screen. Um, I'm also going to be running, so I already have them ordered, but I'm also going to be running 264 BC cams. Um, which I might actually, I've been waiting for those for a while. Um, I might actually opt out to switch to the 272s and go for the dual valve springs and retainers from Brian Crower along with the 272 cams. Um, the only thing with that, if I do that, I have to upgrade to a standalone ECU. I can't run it on the stock ECU. I mean, I could probably do an RS enthalpy um, like break into the ECU with that and do that but I mean it's 400 for that and then if I get a standalone like an ECU masters I can um, basically control everything with this car I can see what's going on with it I can update it I can fix whatever's not running right um, a couple other things it's gonna be um, a power steering relocation kit. I'm actually going to run the LS240 power steering relocation kit and it puts the power steering from there and it brings it up to this spot right here which I think honestly will work a lot better in my case where the turbo sits it's really close to that power steering reservoir and I don't want to start a fire but I'm going to be doing some modifications to that to get that sorted and out of the way. I also, you guys probably didn't notice it because I have the hood up, but let me bring it down. Yep. 
it is on gas struts for the hood no more hood prop um, these are the p2m carbon fiber hood struts they're amazing i gotta say honestly for the money i paid for them i'm content i'm completely happy with them um, I am going to do some modifications to how this uh, intercooler is sitting. I do not like how it's set up right now. I did do rib nuts, uh, nut cert, whatever you want to call it. Don't like it at all. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a switch up with that. I have dogs. My dogs decided that they wanted to pee on the wheels that I had on the car, the Odhans. So I switched those up. You guys got to see how goofy this thing looks with my, um, my daily wheels on this thing. Uh, yeah so prepare yourself because this looks wild to me honestly we got some kids out here playing screaming and playing like i said forewarning these things look hideous on this car so check it out like what in the this is like some straight up sucked in fitment this thing is on and you can see the grass is just like growing crazy so that's a big thing here um but yeah so this is really just an update video for you guys sorry it's a lot of talking um turbo is good to go you guys it is flawless there is nothing wrong with it classic ebay turbo shenanigans journal bearing obviously that's probably why i thought it blew up um turbo is fine the wastegate's good to go you can see here <clears throat> turbo smart sponsor me you know that'd be awesome uh let's see it has been like two months i put up a couple shorts which was uh videos from a video i had already posted on youtube which you know, i was just trying to get content out to you guys the subscribers that i do have um there's not much that i can do with this car for daily content right now so maybe i can tease you guys with a couple of the the daily car videos or something you guys let me know down in the comments what you want to see but we're gonna go ahead and end off here um like comment subscribe stay tuned for the next one peace